this is a piece of art that was presented at the Celia Center Arts Festival, which is one of our programs. This was a photo of an adoptee looking through a fog. There is a term, the fog, in adoption, the adoption world for adoptees, when they're not recognizing that they may have rejection sensitivity due to being separated from their birth mother, that they blame themselves, that they're hard on themselves. So the fog is an awakening to these feelings. And that's what this photography represents, an awakening to yourself, your soul. Also presented at the Celia Center Arts Festival, I was rejected by my own birth mother. Yes. On the phone and in person. Very, very hard. I wanted to show up for myself. Don't deny me, I am your daughter. I did live with my birth father for the first 15 months of my life. Then I was separated for many reasons. My brother had mental illness. My father did not feel he could care for me and my brother. However, I formed an attachment to him. And yet he was told at that time, forget this ever happened, move on with your life, right? This is the seventies. Birth parents need an adoption confident therapist to help them understand the fog that they're living in based on what happened. I don't need his acceptance because his rejection is not a rejection of me anymore. This is what I tell myself. It is a reflection of him and his own trauma, his own unmet emotional and mental health needs. And I am not responsible for him. I'm responsible for me. Use your voice, use your strength, your empowerment. And if you want to present and submit at our next Celia Center Arts Festival, please go to our website and send us an email that you would like to do so. And we will put you on the list to notify when we do our next Arts Festival. Here are two more expressions of art made by an adoptee. Expressing through art is extremely powerful because we don't always have the words. But when we can externalize it and see it for what it is, what does that do? It instills pride, self-esteem, confidence, efficacy. I, I can do something. I matter. This is real. And then when people celebrate your artwork, it's extremely powerful. Here is expression through music. This is an adult adoptee who was also rejected by her birth mother. And so she wrote, a song about it, recorded it, and made a video. What were you thinking that day? Did you look in my eyes or look away? Tell me I'd grow up to do amazing things. It's all questions I have, but you won't answer me. No, you won't answer me. It's all questions I have, but you won't answer me. No, you won't answer me. Do you questions I have, but you won't answer me. No, you won't answer me. It's all questions I have, but you won't answer me. No, you won't answer me.
questions I have, but you won't answer me. questions I have, but you won't answer me. No, you won't answer me. It's all questions I have, but you won't answer me. You won't answer me. This is a poem that I wrote, I never was born. I'm lost in a black hole, but magical. Being adopted is like arriving in a mystery movie five minutes too late. At times I am a helpless changeling, at others an omnipotent creature from another planet. I am not real, not connected, always in a fog suffocated by emotional blankets, but I am strong. We are sole survivors of a world no one else has ever seen. I have decided to search. It is the moment of choosing myself. Lack of trust. I will never be bound to one identity. I will remain in a constant search. Poetry is powerful.